What's good? Yeah, we go ahead and start this. So, yeah, we out here in uh, OSU campus. Do a quick video. Uh, all, all praises to Yahweh by Shum Yahweh Shai. And a double honor to the Apostles of Great Millstone. And uh, what, this is about to read Matthew 18 or something like that. Yeah. It's Matthew 18 and 1. <clears throat> at that time, Honestly, at the same time, five. came the disciples unto Yahweh Shai, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Yahweh Shai caught a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them and said, Brethren, I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Right, you got to be converted. And hey, what does the word convert mean? You know, people they don't know the meaning of words. The word convert means with truth. So the word con means with, and the word vert comes from the word veritas, which means truth. So, you, so we out here to convert, which means to give truth, right? But so uh, it says you gotta be as a little child and be converted. It says, verse four, whosoever <clears throat> therefore shall humble himself as a little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Who shall shall receive? One such a little child in my name receive of me. Oh yeah, I'll just get my Bible out. Right, it says verse 6, Matthew 18 6. Whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck. Right. Oh yeah. So if anybody, you know, comes up against us or anybody else teaching his truth, it's good. the Lord said it's better out that you committed suicide. You know what I mean? So if you offend us. Or any, any other brothers out here teaching? Yeah, you might as well, you're gonna get put to death, you know what I mean? Because you got a lot of scoffers, they'll come up talking shit to us. They'll say, y'all look like bums, y'all retarded. Only, only retards preach on the corner, you know what I mean? So it's better after they just go ahead and kill themselves. You know what I mean? Because when, when you say something like that, you condemn yourself. And then he would drown in the death of the sea. In verse 7 it says, Woe unto the world because of offenses. For it must needs be that offenses come. But woe to that man by whom the offense is coming. Oh yeah, because you know a lot of times people be like, Well, if God created evil, if God's all powerful, why does he let evil exist? But what did the Lord say? He said, read that again. It says, woe unto the world because of offenses. He said, woe unto the world because of the offenses. Go ahead. For it must needs be that offenses come, but, but woe. But it needs be that offenses come. So the Lord has set up through the prophecies that certain things had to happen. Like the wicked had to be wicked for prophecies to come to pass. The Lord is the one who brought that evil in the world. Even though look, I'm it's coming God back, out here. look, don't like what you're not understanding. I say it's God out here, and I'm been talking to her about it. Can you listen? Time. Even don't understand what you're saying, even though my breath stinks. Have oh, y'all just playing games, bro. Y'all doing look, this for school, look, look, look or do y'all really believe? Look at me. Oh, you really believe? Because I've been trying me. to get this look through at her me. head. That God got her. Okay, but look She's at me. Look at me in my situation. Everybody in my family was praising Drake because he her. stepped up and did what I was doing. He only did oh, that to try to win me back. Motherfuckers. Nigga. No. Period. Off of me though. No, don't touch Because I made sure no matter if I was falling, they're still taking care of my habits. They were taken care of, right? It says, wherefore, if thy hand or thy foot offend thee, cut them off, cast them from thee. It is better for thee to enter into life than for pain. Rather than having two hands and spirit. You just don't know. Every night I go to sleep. Thinking about what can I do better for them. No. 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 It says, having two hands or two feet to be cast into the glass of fire. If thine eye or bend thee, pluck it out. Cast it from it is better for thee to enter into life. Like I say, I have an image of Rather than having two eyes to cast into hell. This is what the fuck is expect from me. Take heed. This is the fact why you do no more. And I didn't get no high school. Take heed that you despise not one of these. I can carry. Like these little ones. 
So I say unto you that in heaven their angels you always behold the face of my father which is in heaven. Listen, Lord. I have a win. Yes. I don't want to talk about that. I'm not going to talk about that. I'm telling you about you nigga with five seconds. This nigga in the war right now. I'm not about to. Yeah, you ain't going to be able to hear me. Even went back to Dre and X. Listen, your family pushed you back to get your kids. They pushed me back to this nigga. It says Matthew 18 and 10. Take he that he looked out for them, not me. He despised not these little ones. And I had that nigga up. As a woman, that ain't he's heaven. not ready to go. So he ain't trying to fuck with me. He fucked his baby mama, just said fuck everything. Yeah, you'll be that messed the whole video up. It says, take heed that you despise not one of these little ones. For I say unto you that in heaven, the angels do always behold the face of my father, which is in heaven. Right, because the angels, they they just constantly doing the work. Is that your water? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, the, uh, my fault. Go ahead. There's just so much confusion. Oh, hold on. <laughs> it says, what the, uh, it says, the angels, I got you, I got you right in a minute. But it says, the angels are always beholding the face of the Father. Because every, every brother got, well, everybody got angels. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. Oh, you good. Brothers, you know, we've got angels, so the protectors, like the scripture says, let me get that. The angels can pass the saints. Yeah. Psalms 30. I know it's 1 and 95. 11 and 37. 34. Psalms 34 and 7. The angel of Yahweh will shoot me out shy and camp around about them that fear him and deliver them. So, like the scripture said, the, the, the angels. Are always beholding the face of the Father, waiting for the Father to give order. If if anybody touches us, that he would he would send he would sick angels upon anybody that you know that that harm us. Okay. Yeah, I'm supposed. I'm, I'm since I'm already in Psalm 35. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to Psalm 35 and uh, this is a prayer by King David. It says 35 and uh, six. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of Yahweh persecute them. That goes back to. That the, 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 the angels always beholding the face of the Father. You know what I'm saying? So the King David prayed to the Father that that the angel, that the angel of the Lord will be pretty much sick on on, on these people to destroy them and to uh, what do you say? And to uh, persecute them. And then let's eight. Let destruction come upon him. Uh, no, uh, let's get to, uh, no five. Let them be as chaff before the wind, and let the angel of Yahweh chase them. Yep, Chase. Hey, that's why you read in the book of Revelation too. It goes into the angels. It about how the angels, the Michael, the archangel, cast Satan out of heaven. You know what I mean? Going because Satan in Revelation 12 is talking about Esau, talking about the Roman Empire of America. And it said uh, that Michael, the archangels, you know, the angels, they cast the devil and his angels out of heaven. You know what I mean? Like he said, I got another uh, precept to back you up. You said. How, uh, was that scripture you read about how the angels going to pass the saints or whatever? It's uh, Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of Yahweh, and the righteousness is of me, save Yahweh. Right, so anybody that, that come up against us, bro, come up against the truth, the, the Lord going to condemn them. You know what I mean? And can't nobody come up against us. There people who are trying to fight us. All the time people would threaten us with violence. They want to fight us. Throw stuff at us. Spit on. You get spit on. You see what they did to the Lord? They put the Lord on a cross and crucified him. You know what I mean? They, they crucified Peter. Crucified Andrew. Did they uh, kill uh, Emperor Nero? Uh, executed Paul. You know what I mean? And yeah, they killed. That's what I'm saying. They killed the Lord. And you know, of course, it's not possible. But if it were possible, I bet you they'd try to kill him on side. If you know, of course, if it's possible. You know how Esau is. You know, is you know. And Jake too. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's why they all Israel is disrespectful and disobedient. That's why they came up against the Lord. You know what I'm saying? They would rather. They said we have no king but Caesar. And just like in the Old Testament, with Corey came against Moses. He wanted. It. He said Moses wasn't doing a good job. You know what I mean? Because Israel is always disobedient. They don't want to listen to instructions. I'm gonna get that scripture.
you good. Okay. So it's 91 and 8. It says, no, yeah, 8. It says, and with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made Yahweh, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Right, so you gotta pray to the Lord that he protects you. Like, even when I was driving, when I was driving, when you driving out here, it's like, uh, like I was saying, it's like driving in GTA, San Andreas out here. It is crazy. So you gotta pray to the Lord that he protect you while you're driving. You know, an angel will protect you. Because you're just a couple seconds away from death all day long. You know what I mean? Somebody fucking drive up here and run his ass over and shit. Yeah, they could run us over. Somebody, I'll bar. Yeah, they could, they was like, yeah, we, we could say something bad about a Muslim. They gonna be like, Alu Akbar, motherfucker. Blow us up. You know what I mean? And that, that happened too. You know what I mean? Because you could become a martyr for this truth. Hey, shit. This is the point of. Uh, this is the point of. Uh, death is everywhere. There was a motherfucker recently. A motherfucker just shot an AK, I guess it was an AK 47 bullet. And he was just talking to his friend. And out of nowhere, the fucking bullet just came and hit him in his head. Out of nowhere. Oh, shit. Yeah, it could happen at any moment. Yeah, that's what you, you can be chill. Yeah, you can be chilling on your TV, uh, on your couch watching TV. A bullet come right through the window. Just catch on fire. You could have said something blasphemous too. Like, oh fuck the god, all oh, that bullshit. Power, you shot in the damn head. You ain't talking shit no more now, are you? Cause you dead. That's how the Lord does it, bro. He just puts people to death. That's how the Lord do it. He's the creator of death. You know what I'm saying? He created death. So uh, he knows how to distribute death. You know what I mean? Kills and the Lord makes alive. Yeah, the Lord kills and the Lord makes alive. It says, He shall give his angels charge. Oh, I read that slide. Right. We go to 13. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. I'm sorry. See, he says, because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. That's all you gotta do. You gotta go back to, all you gotta do is go back to most high, repent, like we said before, to convert and love him. Then he's gonna protect you. Yeah, you gotta be converted. Like, you gotta become like a child, you gotta be reborn. You gotta forget all that little bullshit that you believed your whole life and just throw it out the window, flush it down the toilet, you know what I mean? All that little stuff you learned in church, celebrate Christmas, celebrate Easter, you gotta throw it all away. And that is just say, fuck that shit. You know, that's like AIDS. Get away from that shit. You're supposed to be reborn. And now we celebrate holidays like the Passover, Day of Atonement, you know what I mean? You gotta throw all, you gotta get rid of the old man. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. He, I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor me. It's like it. I read that again. He will. He will. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life, and will satisfy him. Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation? When I built you, I built you. Every time I built you, I built you. I felt you, I came, didn't I? Demons. It's a different type of angels right here. Oh, my goodness. Hey, I, you quoted that one scripture. I wanted to read it, though. First Samuel 2 and 6. The Lord killeth. It really says, Yahweh killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and he bringeth up. So what does that mean, though? He bring down to the grave. What does it mean to be brought up from the grave? What does that mean? That's dealing with reincarnation. So the Lord kills you and he brings you back. Okay, because reincarnation is in the Bible. All right. That's, that's proof right there. The, he bringeth to the grave, down to the grave and bringeth up. And he can rock, rock, people, literally uh, rise people from the dead. How do you say that? Because the Lord rose from the dead. Yeah, so the Lord, he the one that kills, he's the one that destroys. 
He's the one that creates evil. He created Satan. You know what I mean? You got anything else you want to go? Uh, I'm so glad them demons left, man. Yeah. Did you hear what she said? She's like, I, I feel you, I came, didn't I, or something. She was saying some nasty stuff, bro. That that was that was some demons right there. Your boy said, I've been trying to tell tell you or you need God or something. I thought he was on the Israelite shit. The boy had little stickers and shit. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, honkies? <laughs> crack your ass, cracker. Crack your ass, cracker. Yeah, I'm a, uh, yeah, that fucked my spirit up hearing that day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This shit was confusing. Like, yeah, it was confusing. Fucking up the video, you know what I mean? I still feel her. So, you feel like, yeah, you feel like a demonic, yeah, a demon just left. It feels all pure and peaceful out here now. You just felt that evil entity leave. That bitch was like a, a, a hell spawn, a fucking demon goblin fucking creature. That bitch was, yeah, from the darkest the depths of Hades. You know what I'm saying? That's fucking Melboja. That's fucking a goddamn Ashtaroth. That bitch was a fucking one of them ancient demons. You, you hear that demon? Was, that's a demon. That's an actual demon. You know what I mean? That's a demon. And you know as soon as you heard that loud mouth, that is going to somehow end up right next to us. Yeah. You just knew it. I thought she was talking shit to us at first. But she said something about God, I swear. I thought she said Well, oh, that's what, yeah, so. It's like, oh, shit, here we like, go no, again. She, no, she, no, she said, you better ask them or something. She better ask them. I thought she was talking to us. They better not ask me shit. I ain't that time trying to hear that shit. You got more of that? Oh, uh, yeah. That's, I, that's, I ain't got no scripture. No, no, no. We can just no, keep no. going on that Matthew 18 or something. I think it was, Ma yeah, 18 is a good one. I think that's what I was reading. We just in the spirit. Back to Matthew 18, 11. For the Son of Man has come to save that which is lost. Oh, yeah, the Son of Man has come to save that which is lost. And what was lost? Just like Matthew 15 says, he, the Lord said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So the Lord came to save the Israelites that were lost. And that's why he was commanded to teach his gospel to all nations, because Israel was scattered among all nations. Read that again. That's what that's talking about, because who else was lost? Because at one time he had them, but then they got lost. They were scattered, because Israel used to be a, a nation and a people, but the Lord punished them. Cause they broke the commandments and they, and they was some demons. He's <laughs> Jake is bugged out. He's like, you got them cameras out? Let's go. It says, for the Son of Man has come to save that was what was, was lost. It says, how think ye, if a man have a hundred sheep and one of them be gone astray, if he not leave the ninety and nine and go off into the mountains, Seek of that which is going astray. How can they talk about heathen if a heathen never really been into the folk? How can you go astray if you always been right. your whole life a heathen? Because you know, we're like, yeah, right, because we're like it unto a sheep as part of a flock. So when you lose one in the sheep, you're like, I gotta go find that sheep. That sheep cost us worth a lot of money. You know what I mean? One, that's worth some money. I gotta go find that sheep. You know what I mean? We're gonna look, we're gonna find this sheep. We're gonna look, we're gonna find this motherfucking sheep. And so that's why we doing. We out here teaching on the streets. We like, we gonna find these sheep, bro. We gonna be looking. You ain't gonna fail. You gonna have a lot of failure, but you gonna keep looking. You know what I mean? So don't get so to be casualties. You know, get caught by the wolf. We gonna search this whole damn earth for them sheep, bro. Yeah, yeah man, these motherfuckers are gone, bro. Says. And if so be that he find it, verily I say unto you, he rejoiceth more over that sheep than of the ninety-nine which he get 
who is not went astray. Even so, it is not the will of your Father who is in heaven. Nor one of these little ones should perish. Right, because that's why we come out here, because the, the Lord ain't going to let nobody perish that's not supposed to perish. People going to be like, oh, how am I going to get destroyed? If The Lord going to make sure that the people he wants to hear this word is going to hear. That's why we out here teaching. That's why the missiles ain't hit yet. That's why the end hasn't came yet. Because right? ain't enough ain't enough work been done yet. You know what I mean? We just getting started. Wrap up. About time. You don't all that, you know what I'm saying, though, but there's a lot more work to be done still. There's a lot of work to do. You can't just be out lollygagging, not doing the work. That, But that's why we coming out here to wake people up. And like you said, though, the prophecy coming to pass. You see World War III popping off. North Korea, they could, they said they're going to shoot a hydrogen bomb. You know, if they shot, they shot a hydrogen bomb in the right spot, that could knock out the uh, the electric grid. That could cause an EMP. And that would be beautiful too. You got more to that? Yeah, because it's a believer that go wrong when it gets hacked. What is it? It's about the believers that go wrong. Yeah, keep going with that. It says Matthew 18 and 15. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. All right, yeah, so somebody that like you out here doing the work with is your brother, and they do some fucked up shit. Now, first of all, just don't be going out just making a video on it. You know what I mean? That'd be salty, bro. This motherfucker. Like, you ain't tell me enough, bro. You just made a video, just, just, just murdered me on the video. Yeah, crazy. You know what I mean? But you see that happens a lot. Dudes get emotional. They get mad at somebody. They make a fucking 20-part series on them. Now, first, you're supposed to talk to that brother. Go ahead. You should just talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, you know, keep it personal. You don't be showing the world all your business. Now, some of us are straight up demon, bro. Just a goddamn devil and a heathen. Man, you, you make a documentary on them, you know what I mean? So, but if he would not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more. That in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. Right, in the mouth of two or three witnesses. That's why even the Lord commanded us to go out teaching and what, in sets of twos? He said his apostles out, what, what have two by two or something like that? Yeah. Say, you know, two, because you, cause you need to have at least some two witnesses. We got two witnesses right here, plus the spirit witnesses. You know what I mean? That's why, you, I mean, you can go out teaching by yourself, but it's best to have somebody with you. Hey, the, the more the merrier, right? But then again, <laughs> Cause yeah, it is not a number game. Cause you can have a lot of guys out here, and, and half of them be demons. You know what I mean? Perpetrating, pretending like they really into the work. You know, I don't know why some guys even go out teaching. Why even bother? I mean, you're not into it. You know what I mean? You act like it's a uh, like like it's hard work, like it's something to be ashamed of. You know what I mean? What you have? Uh, more to that? Says and he would ne if he neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as an even man and a publican. Right. So, yeah. So if you got some demons, they just totally going off, changing the doctrine. Yeah, man. Let them. They could be me as a heathen. So I U I C are heathens, bro. I hate to say it, bro, but Sakari. Oh, that's fucked up. Man, you know y'all's heathens according to the doctrine and according to the ordinances. You know, we got, we have, we, we're, you're heathens. Yeah, heathen. Like that, heathen. Hey, yeah, you're just like that heathen. Ain't no different, bro. And you like to call people heathen too, but that's too bad. You know what I mean? It's funny, they call a lot of people that's Israelites heathens. They, they always like, like them to be themselves. That's because they're, uh, they're fucking, uh, what's that word, man? They're fucking, fucking assholes. Uh, that's a certain word, I can't think of it right now. But they always play down to the lowest common denominator. Playing on people's emotions. They they want to act like they're the most super duper blackest, black, pro black people on the planet. And we hate all crackers. Now we don't love Nair Cracker. You know what I mean? 
Uh, they're demagogues. That's what it's called. They're, when you do that, it's demagoguery. They're, they're playing down to the lowest common denominator, playing on the majority of people's ignorance and stuff. That's called being a demagogue. Cause you know, you know, cause if you say, uh, if you admit a certain white person is an Israelite or something, a half of Israel will lose their mind. Oh my God, I can't believe he said that. Just so, just so they, they, he don't want to ruffle no one's feathers. You know what I mean? And he knows the truth though. Talking about Sakari. Sakari. He's getting his snack off. <laughs> Really, I say unto you, whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Right, man. So you gotta watch what you say, watch what you do, watch how you act. You know what I mean? Go ahead. It says again, I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that 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 shall that they shall ask, it shall be done for them. If if my Father which is in heaven, I gotta read that again. Yeah. It says again, I say unto you uh, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. But where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Yeah, where two or three are gathered together in the name of the Lord. It, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shah is right there with it, it said gathered together in the name. Meaning in the name of Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shah. Not just any of not the name of Jesus or the name of Christ. You know what I mean? Like, like IUIC's God. You know what I mean? We come in the name of Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shah. And it said where two or three are gathered together in the name of Yahweh by Shabbat Shalom side that the Lord is right there with us. I mean, that's how it works. You see what I'm saying? That this spear is, the Lord is with us right now. That's why this is called church. This is the temple right here. This is the holy of the holies. And we up here are offering up a burnt uh, sacrifice. This right here is a burnt sacrifice. We like meat burning on the grill. You know what I mean? Sending up that sweet savor. Cause that pleases the most high when you come out here and do the work. You come out here on the highways and byways, that pleases the most high. You offer yourself up on, as a sacrifice. Just like the Lord offered himself up as a sacrifice. Is there more to that chapter? Man, this camera's about to die, but it's, it's trying to hold on. It says forgive another, it's like a long parable. Which one? Because I was reading that, it was, it was nice. Which one is that talking about? It says the king, the servants. The yeah, maybe not that one. That's a little too long. We just get whatever. Get some more uh, New Testament stuff. We can skip around if you just want to get going to something else. We'll go with the spirit. I go change this battery. Bachelor.